Hello, I'm Pastor Avi from Utah for Christ, Calvary Chapel, Romola. I'm actually the missions pastor. And I've been asked to do a devotional on what's been happening in, uh, in these times of pain and these times of fear and these times of adversity. I want to open to Second Chronicles and I want to encourage you on what God has for us. In Second Chronicles 15, 5, he says, And in those times there was no peace to the one who went out or to the one who came in. But great turmoil was on all the inhabitants of the land. So nation was destroyed by nation and city by city. For God troubled them with every adversity. Does that sound familiar nowadays? It seems like we are being attacked on every which way. Things that we've never heard of are happening now. Things that we've probably maybe seen on movies are happening now. The verse continues to say, But you be strong and do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. In those times, Israel had walked away from the Lord, and the Lord brought turmoil to the people. And I believe that's what's happening now. There's a lot of people that have walked away from the Lord or failed to acknowledge Him. And the Lord wants to collect His children. The Lord wants to separate. But He also encourages us to say, to be of good courage, for our work shall be rewarded. In these times of pain, this is a perfect time to be that voice, to be that friend that encourages a non-believer, that encourages a believer. We know that fear comes from the enemy. So when we do hit those times, we are to encourage one another. Galatians 6, 9 says, says, And let us not grow weary while doing good, and in due season we shall reap. Right now is the time of glorifying the Lord, asking Him for forgiveness, drawing close to Him. If you know somebody today that needs to draw close to the Lord, I pray you pick up that phone, send a text, and encourage them. No better yet, beg them. Draw close to the Lord, for He will draw near to you. God wants to draw us all in. The verse that says, and those who are called by my name, if they should just humble themselves, I will hear from heaven. I challenge you, pick up that phone, call a loved one, call a stranger, call somebody that needs to hear the word of God. Amen. Thank you very much.